Olympics is 2019's biggest smite event yet. The battle for the throne has begun. Who will you side with? Potential. This happened when I'm not looking. I need to. Hey everyone, Heroic Leap J Nash, Evil Mojo Alyssa, and Titan Isaiah mm. here with some exciting news. Crossplay and cross progression for Smite, Paladins, and Realm Royale is live. Players on PC, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch can now play with and against each other. And by linking your Xbox and Nintendo Switch accounts to a high res account, you'll be able to enjoy all of your own content and account progress across three platforms. Head over to my.highresstudios.com to link your ah, account. that's good. We got and all of this sure now. Check out our crossplay and cross progression FAQ at highresstudios.com/crossplay for more details. We'll continue to forge ahead on the battleground and in the realm. On the battleground. Uh, Twitch. Download. Get this clip. Dude, I'm, I'm not focusing, man. What a better way to start this one off by going the oh. way of the underdogs. Console takes the first match. Hype unit will grab that one. Up next, we've got Outcold and Armada. For now, though, you can use code SMITE20 for 20% off. www.steelseries.com. Make sure you go ahead and do all that fun stuff. But for now, <coughs> more fun stuff ahead of us, and it's totally, like I said, Outcold versus Armada. Armada, one of the Did anybody get solo in duel lane? I don't Bastion. remember. Not there. Solo or troll, no slouch. And I'm excited to see him play. One console team made it. Can a second one join them? I'm not sure if Outcold is going to be that team to make it. They got a big journey ahead of themselves. I need to see uh, uh, what's up in dinner Armada as well. Certainly uh, strong across the way, but I've liked some of the stuff that we've seen out of Outcold. Just Lion, he's a cool guy. Yep. So over there, some interesting stuff. I'll be back fast. Of the battlefield. What are you expecting as far as their gameplay style? I think that they're going to rely heavily on their mid player, on to Sinortis, and also their jungler that they're using as a substitute. It's not Kinder Warrior that they're used to playing with throughout the online phase. It's going to be Get Fisher, somebody that's had quite a bit of experience before playing a lot of competitive smite. So I think that's the good leadership quality that might accelerate this team to have an advantage over Armada. We'll certainly see if that's the case. Mask, one of the strongest junglers ever in all honesty he has his moments where mask can look like the best player in smite and uh i think that's the scary thing i mentioned that baskin not on this team but mask being on this team is just as scary frankly so how does mask get held back I is there a way or is mask just a guy that's gonna do it he only holds himself back if at all anyone right like this is his worst enemy so his ability to make the plays is certainly there, but his also ability to kind of stagger a little bit has hindered him in the past during SPL experience now in the minor league, trying to make a statement up against out cold gaming. I think he's going to be playing hyper aggressive gods. Expect a little bit of Susano today. Certainly could be like you, you mentioned the hyper carries. We just saw what Johnny's able to do. The Ao Kuang, the Kali, the Bakasura, not selected, but certainly in the mines. Sure. Mask can do similar things, but also we see some of the Robin. We see some more yeah. of the, the control characters from uh, from Mask as well. So honestly, a wide god pool. We even see the Hebos. I don't really know if there's anything Mask doesn't play. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised even to see Riot Tasker today, honestly. That's true. We've spoken a lot about Mask, but you know what? I miss him. I haven't seen Snoopy in a while. Let's say what up to Evan Snoopy Man Jones. Here with Armada's Hunter Snoopy. Ooh, Snoopy. Snoopy, been a little minute since we've seen you here at the LAN. How are you guys feeling coming into this one? Uh, we're feeling pretty confident. Uh, we practiced a little bit, so that's uh, something new for us. But uh, we've kind of put a little bit of time in, and we're ready to get some Ws. How are you guys feeling, by the way, bringing in Solo or Troll to the team action up against Out Cold? Uh, well, we love Solo. He's a ranked monster, obviously. And uh, it's really nice to have somebody who's not, um, despite his name, trolling all the time. Oh, interview. As Baskin would uh, in, the, uh, in the SML game. So Baskin has moved on to greener pastures, I guess, for now. But, uh, but now we got Solar Troll, and he's piecing out. And I'm sure it's got to be a huge uh, vote of confidence for the Holy team. Holy shit, he's tall. Last time Meerkat, your mid laner, was at land. He, in fact, walked home a champion that day. Oh, yeah, we love Meerkat. We're proud to have him. And uh, on that day with him and Berg, it's uh, so good to see. <laughs> and hopefully we get a repeat of that. But uh, in all seriousness, drawing things kind of back into the competition here at MSI, how far are you guys expecting to take this? 
Uh, we're definitely going to make it to the like the SPL teams, like, and I think we can put on a good show for them. And if we maybe can, I think we can maybe beat Herwin in the ground if we get to him. And Mike's obviously easy competition too. So if we dig get Digger rival, we can maybe take a couple games off them and maybe win the set. Well, looking forward to see what you guys have in store for us here today and for the rest of this week. Best of luck to you guys in the set and back to you guys on the desk. It's newbie Evan Man Jones. Always a pleasure to talk to. We, we like Snoopy here and excited to see him and Armada take the battlefield. You heard him talk about SOT there, Solar Troll, yep. certainly bringing his best. Solar Troll is a guy that really likes to show up and, and really likes to perform. We saw him step in yeah. for the SPL teams as well. With Splice, specifically when he filled in for Divio, is doing a decent job, I would say. It wasn't enough to get Splice to victory, but he made an impact. I think he filled those shoes comfortably, and filling in for Baskin on Armada, I think is going to be a similar taste where he's going to oh. be looking to control the laning phase and just do him I, I think coming into this one, watching what Armada have available to them, you know, you mentioned Champion, Meerkat, he's going to be assisted there. And this is just a strong team in every single position, it feels like. When you look across the way at Out Cold Gaming, I mean, these guys, it's going to be a tall task for sure. What are your shining points about this squad? It's got to be the mid lane. I'm looking at Sinortis to be able to try to get the one up over meerkat in the jungle get fisher up against mass could be a risky matchup depending on how the god compositions go up against i've never seen any of these players be before just a safer overall picks coming from out cold gaming and except just fisher what armada are trying to do and try to use their own weight against them you will certainly keep that in mind and uh observe what's going on here because at the end of the day out cold gaming are going to be a team that Fisher. have everything That's on so their troll. side. It's up to them to really find these victories. Just lying over there in the, in the long lane. I really like what he's been able to do. What other members uh, do you think can stand up for out cold? I think Mr. Sack on the guardian position is good look to be able to help just lying get away from the laning phase, which is going to be difficult up against Snoopy. Fatality fire in the soul lane is going to have to try to do something to at least mitigate what solo or troll is going to provide in that early game. Well, on that dual lane conversation, standing by, we've got Mr. Sack Tacos talking to him right now. What are you playing? Here now, are you playing? Or is it you just... This is... Uh, Coming from PS4, oh, wait, wait. This is the LAN. A mouse and keyboard. How's the squad feeling for this one today? Well, uh, we have two of us playing on mouse and keyboard, and uh, they're pretty stoked because they get to finally show what they're really made of. But, you know, we're, we're a bit nervous on the PS4 because keyboard and mouse is a little bit of an advantage, but uh, we'll see. Still looking forward to shaking things up with Armada over there on the other side. Where are they from? Yeah, me and uh, Solo Troll BMing each other all day, so uh, show them what's hot. You think you're going to be able to solo him at least once? Well, I'm, I hope Fat Solo's him twice, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the support. I'll, I'll just come and take his ball buff and then run away. Hey, whatever works after all for the team. <laughs> but uh, speaking of the team, and coming what here the fuck, for the dude. first time ever outside of Fisher for LAN, uh, what are some of the team's thoughts and like what was the prep like bring, coming into this one? Well, it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to prep because the caliber teams on PS4 compared to, you know, Armada is, is vastly different. But, you know, we've been, uh, been watching, watching VARs, you know, we've been talking to Rival a bunch, you know, we're good friends with them, and, uh, you know, we have some things ready, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to seeing mm. how you guys manage to shake things up here today in this setup against Armada. We'll get it back to you guys on the desk, and best of luck in your set. Thanks a lot, guys. Always good to talk to these uh, these folks before they get ready. Mr. Sachs, I think a little uh, <laughs> little understanding of the situation he's in, but still rather confident. And I like what these te what this team is doing particularly. You'll always <coughs> hear me say, play your own game, but don't be afraid to adapt. Some members on the mouse and keyboard, and other members sticking to what they're used to and what they played throughout the rest of the season. I think that's a nice mix. Just stick to what you're good at. And a little bit of humor on top of it. It's like, yeah, I'm going to take his blue buff as well when I rotate, <laughs> making sure I stick it to my own soul later. But that is a good thing to have that support uh, early game because in the season six meta for at least the first phase supports have been rotating a lot whether it's the mid lane whether it's invading the jungle that we saw inbound Hello, Mijia, what's good, what's at good? level one in the last set or whether or not they're rotating to the soul lane mr sack's presence has to be a little bit better than that man on your screen gino yeah, it's going to be fun kind of watching these guys go together. It's been it's been fun watching Armada in the minor league as well. Kind of everyone really stands up. Gino does a great job. We celebrated Snoopy before as well. Snoopy, really, you know, I talk a lot about uh, certain teams having a, having a chip on their shoulder. Snoopy. Is this I called Alco Gaming? One what? of the biggest chips on his shoulder. Snoopy is a pro league player full stop. Yes. And uh, he's in the minor league and... 
Snoop watching the Messiah? Yeah, I've been watching as well. Only. I don't think he needs to audition for anybody, but every time you watch him go out and play, it looks like he's auditioning for the number one team. I don't think Snoopy ever goes out there and plays it like a days ago. It's so been quite interesting games, that, honestly. I'm, I'm always impressed with what he can bring for Armada. So it should be fun watching him go up head head against Mr. Sachs in this lane and out cold in general. For Snoopy's position in Season 6, he probably could have easily made an SPL team. I just don't think that he wanted to join the teams that were expecting not to dominate. Right? Like the LGs and yeah, the I'll, I'll be watching so all the games, I think. Of those two teams, the Hunter pool is just so stacked. It really, especially we have Amelito rejoining the yeah. Pro League. He's one of the best hunters of all time. And he replaced Vedium, which is another <laughs> great hunter, right? Like, yeah. so there's so many stacked hunters outside of the bottom two teams. I don't think Snoopy wanted to put himself in that position. So he would rather just kind of play in the minor league. I'm, I'm telling you, though. I'm telling you, though. Snoopy, when he's got a beard going, you got to watch out. He's got to go, woo, Snoopy. Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the first right set? Now. Out cold gaming though, across the way they've got some things on their side. Uh, on their side, you mentioned Sinortis before. I really enjoy watching him in the middle lane. What is it about Sinortis that makes him stand up for you? I think that it's just his Poseidon play. He's able to like really position the Krakens accordingly to be able to defensively kind of counteract what's going to be happening. If the aggression from Armada is going to be shown early, I'm expecting Sinortis to lock in the Poseidon in this first game. Should be should be something interesting to watch out for. As far as you're already pre uh, predicting the Poseidon, are there any other picks that we should expect out of Out Cold? Well, Get Fisher, I think, is historically known for his Hunbats uh, all the time. So maybe some of that. I don't expect any Geb Jungle anytime soon coming out of. <laughs> I don't agree to the Hunbats no, any longer. What but the fuck, I dude. think that's something that he's going to provide is the team fighting aspect, whether it's Hunbats or otherwise. Keep an eye on that one, of course, him being newer to the squad should shake things up a little bit. Picks and Man's on the way. We'll get into that in just a little bit. But for now, a little bit more preamble as we look at these teams individually. Armada, we mentioned the loss of Baskin. Now, Baskin is interesting because Baskin is one of the best players in Smite. And because of that, I think it's it's interesting to kind of, type, kind of take him away from the unit. With Solo or Troll replacing him, obviously replace is a high word. So how does Armada fix their game, if, if you will? How do you change your game when you take Baskin out of the equation? I don't think Armada really rely too much on Baskin for the victories anyway. So I think the fact of the matter is that they're going to focus more on the jungle and the hunter position to carry these games. So Solo or Troll stepping in he's going to pr provide his own flair his own identity he's still going to do similar things to baskin so not much love would have a coach as well from armada. John armada, ben. to make a move in the picks and bands <clears throat> Jorman gunder will be taken away by the minor league squad cold gaming on the other hand looking towards the freya Freya no ban on Arco. makes Kyle sense makes sense banned out or picked 100 pick ban rate for the bee god, the god of bees. So we'll see if I'm out of Hello, Tanaka. How are you Normally doing today? It's between the Freya, Kronos, Merlin, Amusin Cobb, and Jormungandr. Those are like your five go tos. So now no. Amusin Cobb and Merlin are open. Alcohol Gaming have the option of either banning one of those or leaving both open so that they can at least take one. Right now, OCG on the clock, trying to figure out what they want to get rid of. Freya has been powerful for players so far. Griffin Slays was playing it earlier. Let's see if that's the case here. <coughs> out Cold Gaming still trying to figure this one out. Armada looking for their first selection after this ban. Where do you think they go, Tully? I think Armada, they're going to try to first pick Merlin if they can. But this is a throwaway ban. We were talking about how... Kronos was Cyrus ban. Out Cold Gaming... I'm not sure how much Amada was looking to uh, to get Osiris here, but it's all right, Ben. I wouldn't be surprised to even see a Moosing Cobb because the matchup, uh, physical hunter versus a magical mage like Merlin, not going to be able to outclear the B God. Plus, of course, if you land the Stinger, you're going to lock down the blink. That's it. Merlin. Merlin, first choice overall. OCG will go for the AMC. Yeah, I mean, Merlin is a good trade for AMC. Merlin did for open small opportunities. Especially when Freya and Kronos is banned. 
Because then if you go AMC mid, then uh, then it would be nice to have like Freya or Kronos and that's Sal, because Sal is not top tier right now. But it, it would be alright. Tira MC together is alright though. It's been annoying not being at the land, man. <coughs> Vulcan and Ravana. Vulcan into Terra. Holy shit, dude. Terra AMC, he's gonna have no pressure. It's not so weird. We've seen a number of mages take over that kind of carry role here as of late, but stewie has been doing it since. I mean, Vulcan had a carry. I, uh, I don't know, bro. I guess it's all right, but they just put AMC dueler, do it, don't they? Here we go again. Obviously, with Snoopy on the Vulcan. Do you think he asked the team before he left? Well, I think they're picking in order, right? Okay, because you're joining the game. What kind of physicals are going to bring out? Are they going to go physical jungle or what? Holy fuck, dude. Alive a bit can hype is so fucking... Look at this, all, all the hype members. That's not very nice, though. Teams trying to figure out their secondary bands. Out cold, gets rid of the Arlong Shen. The Robin likely to go to Mask. You know, Mask has a strong Robin. So I think that's what we'll see in the jungle. Amada banning out the secondary hunter, Jingwei. I don't know, dude. There, I don't feel like that's very nice of a... An aggressive selection. Like, they've played against the substitute. I don't I don't understand that. Why they're going so ham. Between those two bands. I was definitely expecting more passive support bands, like the Kepri's or the Gebs. Potentially the Sylvanas, but not really going for any of that. Instead, they're more worried about the early game pressure. With a Vulcan and a Naja, I'm, like, not super scared of that. I'm more worried about, like, late game Vulcan Gebs. Gu and probably solo, right? They could be Terra solo as well. Are they going four as well? Dude, why is four so popular all of a sudden? Big Daddy Rust, wait the six months. Thank you so much. The picture of Seno and Arco and they have Hell. That's a lot of medical damage. Who is support then? Is it Hell support? Could be for support as well. 
Do you think they like magical uh, physical damage done? I will ask you guys a question. Home, our model or out cold? Who takes this one? As far as the drafts are concerned, out cold gaming is a little bit more traditional, and I am a fan of the Guan Yu. That said, I think Robin is a severely underestimated selection. I think this character should be picked more often, full stop. Uh, Thor in Hell, hard to deal with. Thor is going to maintain control of mid game, like we saw layers do. And then Hell is a time bomb. If it gets too late, Hell wins. Yeah, that's true. And both of these comps having a little bit of healing. Guan Yu versus the Hell needing the anti healing for both of these teams. I'm expecting probably to be picked up by the Agni. Oh, uh, food. On the Merlin, on the side of what is in this toast? The Merlin with all his damage over time. So it will hinder their like late game damage burst potential, but it's a necessary evil to deal with the Hell or the Guan Yu. Speaking of which, the Hell and the Guan Yu. I love the selection of Thor and Hell after the Guan Yu choice. One, Hell from a distance can cleanse everybody that gets hit by that Guan Yu stun. If they get hit by the stun at all, because Thor can make geometry mm, appear, mm, mm. And literally create a wall. Will it be enough to keep? If a mana, if a mana falls behind, this is GG then. Armada, out cold. Game one. And here we go into game to find out exactly. But uh, I don't know how uh, out cold gaming is going to be playing. Stuck with what the meta on the PS4 EU side had had become, which was heavy control out of the cover. We saw a lot of Hunbats there, but Susano kind of fits that same bill. And they love their Guan Yu, they love their sustain. Fatality Fire played a bunch of this, a lot of different PS4 EU solo laners played a lot of this. And so I, I like it. I mean, like I said on, on Esports Weekly, if Alcohol Gaming or a lot of these other console teams come in and just try and beat SML or FPL teams at their game, they're not going to succeed because th these, these teams are just better at it. They've been practicing it longer. Play your game. And oh, it's four solo. Yeah, MC in the uh, in dueling into a Vulcan. Into too strong. They're getting fucked here, man. What the fuck? into that supporting nature we saw a lot of health support a couple of years ago why not try it again here in a meta where the level one's actually more relevant than it was then still got pressure from my then in the solo lane but that's the mc that i think oh he does it level two though i feel i think still think is that bit off more than they could chew just lying too far um. forward and already masters claim first i mean it's going to be a model stomp this is a this is a pretty typical rotation by the jungler over to level two, especially when your ADC is gonna lose pressure in that duo lane. Head on over and try and get that purple secured. This lion held onto the beads, got a little greedy for it. Maybe he dies anyways, and is just trying to hold him so that he has it for the next gank when he could potentially survive. But that's always a, a feels bad where you die with your relic up. Fatality fire there to get a little bit lucky in a lot of ways of hitting that level two in terms of getting his charge. Otherwise, Solo or Troll may have claimed his life. This Thor pick in the solo lane, we don't see too often, but it has started to see more play, as has Thor. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, when you're in play as well as layers just did, yeah. might be I don't even know what I'm eating. Game. But Thor got some changes not too long ago, but long enough ago that I think a lot of people forget in the, in the way that he, his buff clear, his camp clear, and his minion wave clear got a lot better. And so now you can kind of try that solo lane stuff. We've seen some players try and make it work. Solo Retrol is definitely one that likes these untraditional sort of selections. We've seen him play Uller solo with land. It's pretty nice living at home right now because my dad just always picks me food. I, I do think that this is a sort of pick that can be impactful. Just think about what you want your solo laner to do. You want them to be able to fully the enemy backliner. You want them to be able to be mobile and still be able to clear the wave and rotate early and make it. We're feeling quite fucked. Thor can do all of that. Right now, Alcold already pretty behind if you look across the map in terms of experience. That first one going the way of mass definitely helps out in the jungle there. And the mid lane situation also... When did you eat your chicken yet? With the solo lane being fresher as it has been so far. Fatality fire on the back foot here too. Alcold are gonna have to try and find somewhere to dominate, to get pressure. Exactly, and when we talk about healer comps, we talk about them grouping up and really death falling. Out of combat 
that feeling that's so hard to counter all the time. But you have to be able to contest in 5v5 situations in, the, in these sorts of scenarios where healer comps look very strong. And you just don't get to contest 5v5 and look strong no matter what type of comp you're running. Solo Joel only subbed in in a spell game. By 10 minutes. So you need to be able to, to find somewhere that is going to get some pressure. And that's why you pick the AMC initially. It's why this Vulcan pick is so strong from Snoopy because it can trade very favorably. If he gets a slight lead, fast rotation over guarantees that. And now Snoopy just rushed full boots. He's got so much mobility over Just Lion that Just Lion can't really get away from him. And Snoopy's gonna get solo farm over here, stealing away purples in the line. Snoopy's just already farming, out farming MC. The sustain there in that conversation too, Ryan. And the one thing is, are they on a clock? I mean, that's almost game? almost over the DD. When Gino on the support hell, he's gonna get too much to handle for this team. When we talk about hell being a, a time bomb per se, I think that that's more relevant when she's a solo or mid, where she's able to build consistent power and get these items online because eventually it's not that the healing alone becomes too much, it's that the healing and damage becomes too much. You can't just full dive her because she'll kill you, but you can't not die her because she'll out kill you. And that's where the scale really tips in Hell's favor. In support, that doesn't really happen. I, I think that you can manage Hell in the late game when she's in the support role. And you have to focus more on how effective... I might have already 2k ahead. ...his cleanses and his slows and his prot treads. And, th and the slow and prot treads very relevant here against... Uh, with a Vulcan and a, a Merlin on his side. But I, I don't think that's too much of a concern. I just think that the bigger concern is less the Hell and more Armada just getting massive off the buff invades and... and just at the mark there as Gina was poking his way in, stun this and the pull from Get Bishop 2. Solo or Troll could continue to keep the pressure in this lane against Free Talon the Fire there. He was pretty low, so he'd be very careful with the conviction trap to sustain. I like the way Solo's playing this lane a lot. You, you kind of get trapped into this too cute idea and fatality fire is so close. Nearly. So that was fucking close, close, holy shit. You know, you're up against the Guan Yu, I've got a stun. I'll just save my stun every time. Who needs it? All for all exchange for Stinger on the ground. Just Line still getting aggressive there. But after the backfire... Right? Just Line does no damage yet. Pressure back onto him. So Line will be on the back foot for now. But at least he held his own. Yeah, and got a Stinger back. Oh, and Snoopy rushed boots as well. Holy shit. Speaking more about that dual lane as well. Is this Snoopy going for a wall of staff here, we expect? Yeah, it looks like it. If, he, if he's going to get solo farm, may as well. And, and it looks like... Get Fisher has no intentions of coming over early, so I, I don't mind it. You rush the boots, you don't have that slow, really slow start. Your start's still gonna be slow, but you've got enough pressure around the map. Plus, with Gino's proc tread, as I mentioned, you're gonna be doing some more damage anyways. I don't mind. Fisher just blinks on the left hand side, looking at Soupy, he's low on Marnet. Auto attacks from just lying off the mark, and the shell prevent most of the burst damage coming out from Fisher. And now with Mass just rotating around the back, he'll take down the aim. Mass cleaning up. Man, that is brutal. F in the chat for just lying, man, because he tried to step up and help out Get Fisher. But Get Fisher has no damage at all. I mean, just none. He tickles Snoopy. I don't like going to Larry Boots on, um, on, on Susano early game. Because you lose so much damage on, on it. Just didn't have that synergy there. And Get Fisher's not the normal jungler here for out cold. That's Kinder Warrior, but he is not able to make it. Get Fisher here instead. Maybe that communication and that synergy just wasn't quite there yet. Yeah, the wall coverage as well on that left hand side for Armada gave the game away that Getfish was making that rotation. Alright, I'm gonna go out with the ditches fast and then go back. More than anything, knowing Snoopy was low on Mana didn't end up paying off. So it's another kill on the board then for Mast, who turned up at the right time. Perfect timing, counter ganks, man. It's, you, you hear junglers get complained at all the time. You know, you're not ganking my lane, you're not ganking my lane. But a lot of times, when you come over to gank the lane and there's ward coverage or. or you know, players as experienced as Snoopy will say, hey, I might get ganked here pretty soon. Why don't you come on over? Counter ganks are almost always some of the most potent and, and favorable fights you can take as a jungler. And if you're a modder at this point too, you've got a pretty magical heavy composition. Yep. So getting the kills onto some of the physicals is kind of important here. So we'll see Mass get those. It's going to be important for Solo Troll to point some damage too as Sax trades out in the mid lane against Meerkat and Gino. And Gino and Meerkat definitely have the better end here. Meerkat been on this team throughout the whole of the split. Me multiple members have filed through. But what's this on the right hand side? Troll trying to deal with the blue buff or at least cause a problem for alcohol gaming. Delay them taking it down. Sure, the double tap comes out, but it won't be enough to secure it this time around. It's also just making sure that Get Fisher's on this right hand side consistently. That opens up Gino to put pressure onto Just Lion on his back camps. Actually, forced him back to base really early on. 
it, it's really just information in, in the power that it can provide. Yeah, that Warlock Staff is online for Snoopy now, whereas Just Line has got the Transcendent stack in. Ten stacks so far. As Sinotaurus, Sinotus on the mid lane, I should say. Sinotus. I always want to say his name Sinotus, differently. Yeah. Freaking Sino, man. It's his fault. I'll blame him. <laughs> Fisher in the mid lane getting pressured for a second. Back up by Gino, of all people, who's quite happy to stay further forward there. Sinotus this game, though. I think there's a lot of pressure on him on this Agony. Mainly to try and look, keep the front line away. But at the moment, he just keeps consistently being poked out by this Merlin. Man, it's a tough, this is a tough team to go up against, too, for Agni, because you really want to be able to execute off your off your Noxious Fiend stuff, whether it's off of your two or off of your bomb. You really need to be able to, to get kills on frontliners off of it, and it's going to be hard with this Robin and a Hell to climb. It's going to be hard for, Ma uh, for Fate Epic Fire to get escape here. Mast is here. Wall still not used by Solo Patrol. They're trying to find the right window. I think they were trying to get rid of the cavalry charge, but the cavalry is here. It's not the greatest of cavalry escapes. If anything, it's good enough, though, to stay alive. Mask uh, 0 for 2 on big abilities on that gank. Missed the root. Oh. Doesn't matter because Solo Patrol's got it under control. Looks like Mask did blink in under the tower and find the root that time. But yeah. Took them a little bit more than they wanted to. Missing the ult and the root means that they have to over-invest a little bit and it add in the blink. It definitely felt like Fatality Fire was like, hey, I already escaped death and now I'm the cool guy because I did it and got a little bit too overconfident. Stuck around and gets punished for it. Solo Troll has gone for that Blackthorn Hammer as well, so we'll be a little bit healthier alongside the fact, well, he doesn't really need the blue buff too much. Sure, the cooldown reduction will help. But the cooldown that you're going to get from the Blackthorn Hammer is definitely something that Thor loves. It's a cooldown, and then when he does it, you know, he's rotating around, fighting a lot. Thor can be a little bit mana intensive, drop below that threshold, you get a ton of mana. It, uh, I love it. Snoopy speeds down, ultimate use. It doesn't really dissuade just lying all fish. Hello, I'm back. What the fuck? It's all quite far ahead here. Had enough, falls back to I had to get some more food. Try and secure that for his team. This time round, it will be successful. I think that's the first one out could have got there. Really nice job by Gino to, to rotate in. Not so nice of a heal right there. He saw it on the miss, but we don't have to worry about it too much. His the idea was nice, right? Exactly, yeah. It's the thought that counts, except that's not really true. Ruby mid lane from Mask and a push sign to Nautis back again with the dash. And that's what I think we'll see a lot from Agni this game. Mainly trying to get some damage out and having to reposition. Talk about reposition. Fish needs to do that just now for that wall. Nearly got him into a really awkward spot. Solo Trollo knows he's lazy back in. Fisher recognizes it too. A little pinch of fatality was available. Now Solo just able to walk away. There's not a whole lot Mr. Sack can do. Quite a bit of investment actually from out cold on the uh, chase away in this storm. <laughs> yeah, Solo is just toying with him at this point, man. They, they can't hit him. The Agnes gonna get fucked this game. All this time round, Mask gonna fully commit. Telegraph situation where the dash away gets executed with the ultimate and now Mr. Sack has a fair amount of health left. So our troll will miss the oh. will miss the hammer. But jump to it and secure the kill with a berserker barrage. Armada starting to really run away with this game early. Yeah, this is exactly Yeah, this is just a loss instantly, I feel like. It's a great pick at pushing early leads. Not much to do. That's really what Armada is expected to get in this game and has really delivered on so far. This already feels to me, right, that they pick some band section that Vulcan pick. Yeah, kind of threw out Cole for a loop and then they try to adjust based off the Vulcan pick and put themselves in an awkward spot where they're not playing the game they wanted to today. Agreed, and, and I think that Just Lion taking those two early deaths... 5k. Yeah. That, that's the spot where you would expect... That's the would have started. ...on that side of the map and to, and to not get it, it, it really does hurt you. All right, Fisher, it's... It's not your rank games now, friend. You can't be surrendering at 12 minutes you know, and at 5-0, you know. Out Fisher for that. I we just have a know. feeling, you know. We you don't know, know if it was him. Listen, you're the jungler. You're 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. You're trying to keep pace with Mast, who's a level ahead of you. 2-0-2. Two, two. You look around and every lane's losing. Of course it's the jungler that's pressing the IF6 kick. Man, that, Come that, on. that's so toxic, too, to be I, I, I don't think it was uh, uh, Fisher as well. <laughs> that is, that's a demoralization. They can't get an aggressive in the jungle. Pull sign autist in. The beads were consumed as well. So a small win again for Armada, just of a, well, not even a proper invade on the red buff there. Surprised the Meerkat spending so much time in Arcane Stance. Most of the time we see a lot of Merlins really stick to Frost and Fire Stances, but he seems to really be a fan of them, and honestly those Vortexes are doing great work for him. He's getting a lot of CC off. A lot of confidence from Armada here as they pressure three men in the mid lane. Solo Troll now joining in two. It was just a deal already. They got the Enzil on Ravana. Forest bit of tank, he got Philips and Kuna production. I think Snoopy's gonna double stack and then potentially get um, a Book of the Dead as well.
And then there's just no way he dies. The Bills are, are looking fine on everybody. They're, they're just getting stumped. I, I don't know exactly what um, what points to make uh, ward-wise. It's not because Outcode is doing too bad. I do think they invested too much in... Um, oh, did he get a dash? I think he got active dash there. That's crazy. Yeah, Solo Troll is just running the game. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> no way. Holy shit. He literally hit the double tap as well. That's insane. The only way you kill him is with his match damage, right? <laughs> Fucking A, dude. So much physical deed with this breastplate of valor. Sinordis is level 11. He's got no damage. I mean, he just, he's, he's unkillable right now. Right, look at the build from Mask here. And he's gone for the frostbound. I was getting some clips me while we were waiting. I'm a little bit surprised by that because of the kit that we've seen. We'll come back to that in a second, though. Especially pressured again. Mirka and Gino just tied together here. Pressuring three members. They won't actually be a kill. So. Crossbound hammer again? Yeah, I, I just think it's it's cheap HP and power, and it gives you the ability to not use anything to kill AMC. You, you, as soon as you get on top of just Lion, holy fuck, he's dead. he can be. It's, it won't matter. You can catch up to him with an all. You can catch up to him with a blink. He can't get away from you ever, and, and that is where this, this AMC can really struggle is from characters that he can't get away from. Robin already kind of fits that bill, but it's only getting. Oh, just Lion was trying to wrap out Sleepy, hoping for the lazy bike trying to take the fight, but the problem is Mika. Is right behind him. The Aegis is buying time for Just Lion, but now he's fighting. They're here to save him, dude. Whole team has turned up, or at least two members of it, to bring They're here to save him, dude. Snoopy will live yet again. 10 and 0, 60 minutes in, and Solo or Troll takes to the sky. He's looking for, he's looking for quite a bit. In oh. this instance, yeah, it's proxying the mid wave. That's Meerkat's wave, so that, that's actually a huge one. He's just like, he's having five in with Gino, and that is the situation you can see on your cards. Level 14 solo laner. Mm -hmm. This is rough, this is very rough. I'm just getting some clips for um, for the highlights. Spun the wheels in the dirt, didn't really get a whole lot of traction, and we know that that's not the uh, armada that we should be seeing. I think, and that's the big thing: it's getting them to look like this consistently. No yeah, it's just a stump at this point. I mean, honestly, if you are stomping a game, then four is like insane as well. That's fine, man. Holy shit, dude. Oh well, oh well. No way. 
This is GG probably. Mask is just going tower, the rest are going for kills. Four just walled him off. And they have uh, heals now as well. <laughs> They're sitting and smiling. They're getting stumped. I mean, there's not much to do, man. Between controller and keyboard is? I know how much different there is, but I mean, Inbound said it himself that controller is a disadvantage and using keyboard mouse is an advantage. But how, much, how big is the difference? It's hard to say. Sulu told us, walled him off. What the fuck? He's got to kill his teammates, dude. By solo or troll. But yeah, Armada just gets to do whatever at this point, honestly. And going back to what you were saying, you know, what could Outcold Gaming do? I really think it's anything that isn't traditional. Because as I've stated, you're just not beating this team playing traditionally. This was not a, oh, we had a bad <coughs> That's why we fell behind. It, it isn't one of those. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the pick up one face, and the fact that Vulcan came through from Armada, I just... It just screams to me that Outcold lost their game plan then because AMC in the dual lane, how often do we see that these days? Not often. He's generally there for the mid lane pressure, but they wanted to switch that up to try and deal with the Vulcan maybe in the dual lane. And that's just kind of thrown them, got them a little bit discombobulated from what their game plan probably was coming today. Yeah, I'd say you see AMC in, in mid probably 80% of the time. I mean, exactly. it, is, it is heavily in that favor for sure. Do, 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 do. Uh, I, I have a lot of clips for this game though. It's very good. Why is it a little bit Loki? Yeah, I'm not sure, man. You should pull out the Loki. Has looked like the best player on this team during during the regular season. He looks like he was constantly dominating that dual lane. And Just Lion has had struggles in that dual lane yeah, as well for Outcold. This was a, a, a lopsided matchup for sure. That that was a concern for Outcold coming into this set. And so when you add in that extra wrinkle of well, we're giving our best player a pick that he's very comfortable with. And they are oh, is he gonna do anything crazy now? It's very hard to fight. Oh my god, the damage on Fisher. They got him. Boatload of golden experience. They got him. What level was he before that? Was it Barry? He was already level 20. Well, oh, you got two levels off that, I think. Yeah, I think Gitfisher got two full levels from that. Kid. Raid boss down is what you call that. Yeah. Well, the problem is there's still another four raid bosses to get through. As their level lead is massive as well. Pretty much everyone's got a two to three level. I'm going to download some clips here. Solo 
Tell will be up in 30 seconds. They can even wait for him on this fire giant and even teleport if necessary. It really won't slow Armada down whatsoever. In fact, I'd be very surprised if Armada even held this for solo. Just because that seems like the funnier thing to do. Not hold it. We'll find out. We'll see. Maybe hold it until he's about to spawn. And I download some clips. You've already got enough kills. Let's yeah. catch up in player damage now. That's what oh. the game is. Mask gonna chase down Fatality Fire through the jungle. The slow's coming to play. Remember, Frostbite Hammer and Witchblade 2. So no one's gonna be attacking anytime soon, realistically. Mr. Sax will double dash straight into Snoopy's ultimate. Was pretty good yeah, not much to do, man. And Terror is no more. 4v5 on the right hand Phoenix. Mid Phoenix already been taken down again. Maybe a little bit more cognizant of his mortality, but I doubt it. Is it the one with the hammer? Nope. What is the hammer? This one? Yeah, it's GG, dude. Is very, very, very close to coming to an end where Armada are looking ridiculously dominant here. Solo Troll gonna dunk into the actual fountain. He won't even die. <clears> too. <throat> this is definitely trying to get their KDA stats up now. Good yeah, job, boys. They're uh, they're practicing their skill shots on land. You know, getting comfortable for the for the rest of the week. That's obviously what's happening. That's gonna blink in, miss the root just like we'll survive yet again. All right, Fish, you're gonna go aggressive and show off his Susano plays. He's actually building. Yeah, I mean, it, it, at this point, it's pretty boring to watch. I don't, I don't really have anything to comment it on it. Like, at this point, there's not much that the um, that Arco can do. It's basically just a loss. It's basically because that hill. Holy shit. Like, all the sustain is insane. Oh, he didn't hit him. Hey, they got a kill on Snoopy. Oh my god, the damage. At least I like to see the Alco is trying, but. <laughs> Amara, now I'm gonna walk away. Take a breath, Graham. Goodness, that was uh, that was quite the, the the play by play wild. carnival. Like, that was. Uh, I didn't have to get hype. It was boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I do is talk. So bring that down. Are you sure you can stream this? I don't know if it's allowed on Twitch, man. It's against Twitch to us. Oh, are you actually serious? Yeah, I can I can stream this. Uh, but I, I I thought you're making a joke with it being uh, a big stump. But yeah, I can stream it. I talked to uh, Harris. At this point, I feel like they should just end, right? Like, can they just end new game, see if there's anything different? The best console during the stream, isn't it? Wait, who is that? And, 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 and. GG. But as we mentioned, I mean, this is the Armada that we expected. And I think that they go with some picks that are a little bit off the wall, but still in their kind of wheelhouse. I don't think anyone's really shocked that Snoopy plays Vulcan, or Gino was willing to play Hell, or Solo will play Thor in the Solo lane. 
all of those things what do they do now for me and i think that's the big thing for armada is they didn't want to show anything you know, on to the other teams that they that they might have to play later on down the line you just kind of want to stick to your comfort zone to give you us oh yeah well, well, there's well, insane well, viewers right now isn't there a very dominant performance from them can out cold out to the back or are they going to the back very early let's find out back to the desk we'll see if they oh well right now this was a shower i'm making the I'm making a new uh the end of the day, this team just looked better than their opposition. Out cold gaming have a tall uh, try uh, to take away game number two. And so Spot. we look back at game number one. I mean the ten and oh Thor stands out before yes. he died in mid lane. The the Meerkat stands out as well. I mean what what was the uh the final stroke? It was the fact that they Save were average, so Amada. Well without traditional composition, right? Like you can really see the difference of skill gap a little bit. Out cold so the fact that like gaming really spike off on the Thor. That global pressure rotation was difficult. Save to image as image image oh, no. rotation in that duel lane, uploads matches the likes of get Fisher, but, but should the background be two seconds earlier? It should be this one. Game. That's all that it takes. And exactly. this one. There's real smooth moves here. Big damage coming out for the Vulcan as well. You mentioned it. Amada, Arco, Imitation on. OP, dude. I don't know how many viewers I have right now. Like 50 or something? 40? 47? Yeah, I mean, it's insanely hard for me to get viewers in this. You know, game number one was just a highlight reel. I mean, this isn't, this isn't a curated group of highlights. They're just playing what Armada did all game. Those walls were just fantastic. Like, Get Fisher couldn't do anything over those walls. Couldn't be able to use the chest stream over it. Using that global pressure to chase down the additional second and third kill throughout the course of the game. 350. Know, they really need to figure out their footing to be able to bounce back into this best of three. 350. Sure. I think if we are to identify anything on the side of out cold, is there anything that really stuck out to you as positive? Not really, unfortunately. This looks pretty clean, doesn't it? To group up for objectives before the likes of Armada. They couldn't handle the pressure. They need to play a little bit more defensively, potentially. The Guan Yu and the Soul Lane comes online too late for what Armada vs. Outcold. I, I think that makes sense here. So just an all-out return to the drawing board, I think, is appropriate here for Outcold. I should like to do thumbnails and stuff. I don't even make my own. But with this program is actually pretty easy to make thumbnails of anything, but it's still like a lot of time to put into it. And it takes like away focus from whenever I'm streaming. Alright, that's pretty good. Maybe we should make a, a new one. Comfort might be a good look for alcohol gaming. It definitely felt like our mod. Seven twenty. What is the next game? Predicting where every single one of these gods were going based on the players' like identity, sure. not necessarily based on what role they should ba, 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 be playing. Merlin, the first ban here from Armada. So they're not going to select for themselves. Like to go in a different direction. Whereas out cold gaming last time around, they banned out some of the other carries. They uh, believe the Freya and the Osiris. Last time around, picking up the Music Hub and the Terra after the Merlin um, was picked. Opting for this second pick yet. What is the team around. call? Sure. How are they going to transition? Out goes gaming vs. Amada. Is Amada called Amada Gaming or what? The hell was powerful. We're all looking at, the, all looking at the Thor, flashy slash lines, great initiation, even some fun trolling his own teammates. But the hell was a really big deal. I think Gino, everybody always looks at the heal, and the healing numbers were certainly there. I'm looking directly at the ability to get teammates out of the Alright, let's see if they can win game two. Really Sorry, I was back in this uh, with the thumbnail thing. So with that away, Hell ban from Outcall Gaming. <laughs> Amada banning Merlin Yom. Between the cavalry charge coming from the Guan Yu, even the bomb stones from the Agni was very difficult uh, occasionally where Gina was cleansing those CC. So a smart ban knowing that in a best of three you do have to make adaptations along okay, the MC way. Hell ban. I'm not sure if Gina was going to play Hell again. Anyway, Magical Lady Care is open, but you don't need to first pick them because I don't think people are picking Freya and Kronos. So if Amada wants to first pick something, they don't need to. We clearly saw in the Snoopy interview how he was already predicting about Dignitas. He's talking about Rival. He's already like predicting that they're going to win this whole bracket. And I think that because of their confidence levels, they're not going to want to play the same god twice. In a row. Probably. I heard the commentators say, I think it was Ryan that said, uh, likely that Armada probably have some strategies that they don't want to show. And I think that's absolute case. 
you're right. See, we've been playing Vulcan. He's been doing it since 2015, man. That's not a surprise. You're not pulling out a secret strategy yeah. here. So kind of keep going. Secret strategy. It was a pretty early... Uh... Freya. That's a good god. Just pick Freya. Out Cold Gaming, on the other hand, will uh, return to what was banned previously. Kronos will be selected. Next to the Erlong Shen. Well, I think Kronos, that's pretty good, uh, pretty good guards. Um, I'm thinking that maybe they should have picked Terra and go Erlang Terra and then third pick Kronos. Apollo? I do yeah. <laughs> Make sure to check out the Skillshot channel for more Adrian Anderson action. For now, Naja will be our god of choice here for Armada. Scary look. Robin will be taken away, but Naja in the hands of Mask. You want to see Mask go off it's, more so than last time. It's probably not Mask for Naja. You think it's going to go to Geno on the yeah, support? Yeah, I probably think it's going to go to Geno on the support. I want to see Mask tear and just, just destroy people. This is probably also going to be like Meerkat's Apollo, is what I'm expecting it to be. Yeah, Freya, pulling, Freya a, for Snoopy. pulling a uh, Hurwind, the mid lane Apollo. That's going to do it. Listen. Back in what, season five? Yes. Four? Baskin and Hurry are the guys that, that come to mind playing Apollo mid. We'll see how it works out. I like Apollo. Apollo underrepresented here in the, uh, in the meta. What keeps Apollo from being a top tier hunter these days? Honestly, I couldn't tell you that answer because, like, global pressure, I always value highly, uh, no matter what role they are in. And Chernabug has been getting some limelight whenever the likes of Jingwei is uh, taken away in Hachiman. And I think it's the safety factor. You want to play safer guys <coughs> who can get back into lane faster or can make these rotations. Apollo can do that with his global ultimate, but not as fast as Chernabog, obviously. Uh, the use of the disruption. So they're going to Erlang support or and then Ravana. It could also be Ravana solo. I don't know if they play that on console, right? But Ravana solo is not the worst. But Ravana and Erlang both could jungle. That damage trim so beautiful, I think, just isn't enough. He has a hard time clearing the wave. He has to use both his abilities and his basics to really get going. But if you're able to kind of survive that laning phase and not really take too much nonsense, you're obviously not going to have to push. But like you said, the, the symptom that global ability, the true global ability, and uh, a lot of what Apollo brings as far as tower push, I mean, audacity. Interesting. Knockups are good, you know, that also landing that. from the chariot, it's a pretty good thing. We'll see how it plays into fruition this game around, up against probably a Kronos in the Do I have my Still thumbnail? Uncertain about this that one. Reflex potentially on the likes of Downloads. just line. We'll see. Beware the on her. I do like me some on her mid, but uh, the on her and the Kronos, I think, are just a what coin toss at this point. Ganesh. And I think Gino has a large... Is build on rank bands are so different? It is. But watching Gino play Ganesh... It really is. Because like, when I think of Gino, I think of generally a, a, an aggressive player. Ganesh plays in the middle of the team fight, and I think that really is, is one kind of out of style for Gino. But at the same time, one of his better choices, to be honest with you. It's a great strength that he has to be able to be that flexible. Yeah. Between the likes of the Naja, into the Hell, into the Ganesh. He's bringing a little bit of everything into these team compositions. So that's going to help Armada specifically as they kind of grow and evolve inside the brackets. And to that Naja, I still don't think Naja is going to mask. Naja winds up in the solo lane for SOT. I think that's the case. Out cold gaming. You've seen, there's been a lot of conversation. These guys, a little half and half as far as their peripherals are concerned. They've got a Mercury on their team as well. Should be an interesting look. Is it <laughs> enough to carry over likely what is likely to be Orana Tasker in the hands of Mask? If they survive the early to mid game, I have high hopes for And her Mer they're full physicals. Mercury, but also on the Kronos, being able to who's going where though? I have no idea who's kind of Can anybody help me? Right? Like who's going where? Have a good start, good momentum. Keep them still fighting in that early to mid portion. It'll be an interesting one. Armada, obviously, game number one. No other way to really put it there. You know, Tully, I've never done this before, but I'm going to give it a shot. Let's go. Game two. 
Well, that that was uh, that was Kronos, right? Was that what it was supposed to be? Was it Hoey? No, that was that was F dot. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure. You know, welcome in to game number two. Our and we're mid. And we're mid. Dominant in game one. Erlang support. Merc jungle. So to speak, in terms of turning this around, and they're gonna go with the Mercury as their final pick here to round out this composition. How are you feeling about this composition? Yeah, I mean. It's got good fight potential. You guys, you, you want to get early game with the Outcool Gaming setup, right? But I mean, early game on Amato is just looking stronger. Like, Nisha Red, Devil way stronger. They even looking to proxy a bit. Sinotis, to be fair, with a very good impale came into play. The right hand side, you did see a little bit of pressure actually from Fred is gonna get speed buff. So, what's that deer? I don't know. They're gonna lose both blue buffs now. I think Erlang should just have went straight to blue buff. Erlang could have done blue buff right now. And he's doing back camps first. Come on, he has to do blue buff as well. No, Erlang is trying to gang mid now. And he's gonna hit level 2 soon, maybe. He's gonna kill him alone, he should have waited. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, he got dash level 1. To make sure he's nice and safe in this time. Was that forced in the jungle earlier? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah. I'm surprised that it didn't get interrupted. I really thought that Mr. Sax got it with that with that quick little interrupt, but it ended up still. That's not good. Damn, dude. It might end up being uh yeah, Apollo mid has been uh being a fast game again. Shout outs to Heroin, it was a big player uh, of the Apollo mid back in the day. Probably but Bask in the two thousand. Yeah, Bask can play it a lot. Camera? Just lying on the left hand side. He's going to do a bit of help right now, but his stun will prevent Bask continuing the chase. He did go with Blink at the start, remember? So they must have knew. I, I didn't see Dash level 1, but they must have known he had Dash right. And and Erlan didn't go blue buff either. So not too bad for just Lion. This time is able to survive. That's exactly what the doctor wrote. Nice spin from Mr. Sack. Inside Nautis wanted to follow up with that leap. But Gino and Meerkat both well aware of the situation there. Use their dashes. <coughs> I just see this game being a mess. Man, I love me some Apollo. I'm glad we're seeing him a little bit. It's been it's been too long for my boy. Too long for him. It was so beautiful coming to play there. And the shell from Gino did prevent some of the damage from the Impale. Meerkat going to dash on in. And Sack's going to pop the sprint in response. Nice knock up onto Meerkat, but no further follow up available. As Snoopy now going to rotate in, get the beads out of sight. Notice after the banish. And the damage Snoop is mad. too much for the Lion. No. Nice on the Lion in the dual lane. It's the Lion in the mid lane. Man, just Lion got forced back to base after that gang from Mask. So it's the Lion in the dual lane. Nevada, they end up opening the window and Snoopy with a really early rotation into the mid lane is able to make the impact felt there. Nicely done by Snoopy. Now with that armada off to a nice start once more. Interesting. Right now what what the article wanna do is see if they can get buff control around dual uh, solo lane. So probably have to do a triple rotation to blue buff to defend that. They got the blue buff this time, so that's super good. Uh, question is can they fight into them if they three versus three? Like Ganesh, Nisha and Red? I'd have to win that. Uh, Merc got pretty good pressure around level 5. But Sim does red. Hello, Amanvar. But Sim does red, so I mean. Red has full boots already as well. Merc is tier 1 boots. It's gonna be so hard to get kills, man. Last game, I thought that a great job of taking farm where necessary while also being in the right spots. Think about how many times he saved Snoopy on the left hand side from a gank. So it just seems to it seems to be in the right spots at the right time. So he's a bit of a mass there, and just his presence alone will stop the back out of Just Lion and force him to throw out the stun just in case the aggression was coming through. But already, job was done there. And meanwhile, Fatality Fire is just overextended a little bit too far here. However, <coughs> ults both off the mark. One was used defensively, the other not. Damn. The ring toss from Solo or Troll. And the confidence in his own place is going to get him the kill. Wait, what did Red hit? Wait, it looked like Red didn't hit anything with his dash. I wonder if he got poked out a little bit too hard in that lane a little bit beforehand and had to teleport in with, with 
Glad Shield won because you can't buy Round Shield and uh, the Health Challenge. So he had to have already backed in order to get that sort of set up. Gino getting a little bit frisky here. Mr. Sax kind of stuck in That fucking pillar is MVP. That pillar was MVP. He's actually pressuring his blue buff and looking to get it away from Fatality Fire after Solo or Troll's recent solo kill. And now Solo's gonna keep the pressure on. Fatality Fire's got a better chance. That pillar was actually sick. Glad shield off. Now he has that not only some physical power and some physical protection, but those extra heals that you get from the Glad Shield mean that you're really gonna outtrade most of the time. I just don't know if that's the case against a character like Naja, where that drop tread from the ring toss is gonna be so important. Double crits coming from the flaming spear as well. And this and he's got sustained a match with that flaming spear. But you know, I always forget Robin is classes and that's perfect pillar for sure. Talk about the matches of Warrior vs. Assassin in that solo lane. Is that something we're gonna see more of with these assassins there, or is this just early round specific? Ultimate on there. Uh, oh my god. No, he's trading him. No, he could have ran out. He went back to trade him. He has to back, dude. Don't stay, Ravana. He may just dash it for the kill. He doesn't even need the help, I don't think. Mask is here. Classic soul laner up down. No matter the situation, Graham. Up and down with your soul lane ultimates. And Love there's it. a sonic boom that will get him a tower shot. Solo to another ultimate. Nice throw into the wall. Beats. Oh, you can get him. Well played with the beads in unity, but Damn. still couldn't find the tail end of the Good game. beats though, not enough. And his gank attempt just comes for naught. Ultimate drop by Gino again. Meerkat in a bit of trouble though off that combo from Sinorda to Mr. Sax. But able to dash away in time. Didn't even need to use the purification piece there. Meerkat still safe. I'm out of them four kills so far. It's a little bit slower of an endeavor. I say that because of how one side of the last game was. There's definitely signs from Alton. It's really awful saying signs of life, but sure, it kind of is. When they're trying to make things happen. <coughs> I'll go start backfire them. That start was horrible. I mean, you're definitely right. It, 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 yeah, and it's so rough for them to win now when the start is so bad. Try and be the aggressor. Even if ultimately it might not work. Another great silence from Gino stops Mr. Sachs in his tracks. I have one. I have four highlights from game one, and that's all uh, solo troll. I wonder if we get any highlights other than the pillar from this game. Slow. Oh, Apollo damage, dude. Are they killing him? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is GG, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. And their cheek is what I'm gonna call it. And Solomon Troll gonna punish Fatality Fire and his cheek. But luckily enough, he's got the extra oh. from the up down. And that's why you do it. Our call back in the game. Fatality Fire. Easy for him, man. That damage mitigation coming from the uh, from the ultimate from Robin. Solar Patrol taking a tower shot. We count it all. Here at MSI, we're, we're counting that one for sure. Definitely, but this is definitely showing Armada playing a little bit over ambitiously, being Wait, really comfortable. You're telling me that Armada is having a bit too much fun and maybe not playing up 100%. I've never seen it. The, the scary no thing is when Meerkat, when he's been this roster all year, he's had, honestly a fantastic season, has outclassed some of his teammates who have won either world champions or been in finals of world championships. With their performances, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, that's uh, kind of the way it's been. Mr. Sax takes another spill. He's had a bit of a rough one so far. But Meerkat, down. Sinordis with the kill. Credit to Just Line there on that rotation. It's kind of a reminiscent of what we saw at a Snoopy earlier on in that very first month that we saw come into play. So now, how cold starts. Welcome back, uh, Ren. I don't think these games are too interesting. I probably make it more interesting, but right now I'm just watching and, uh, and, and enjoying the games. It's not really. That fun to watch, like Freya is 11 and Kronos is 8. I don't know, bro. Miss him. 
Sneak people on one side as well. And just lying is on the wrong side of town. I guess you guys are going to keep running. Have an exit so far. It doesn't look like anyone's helping Meerkat with this chase. Okay, Mass is going to come down and hit the pinch. And here's the only way just lying lives. All the while, Solo Watch all the back is caught, Mr. Sacks alongside. Uh, is there so, some sort of edit carry? Every lane meta. Will tour around the map comes to an end. I mean, the carry meter is pretty good, yeah. Now with two deaths for out cold and a gold fury on the cards. It doesn't look like out cold seems particularly. I mean, that's what Simplicity is playing as well. Um, Vitality Fire is here, but still, Armada looking pretty safe. That's now in the sky. Has the opportunity to go back in for the kill? No inside Nautilus is low. I'm also just that. The desert is going to prevent the knock up, but it wouldn't prevent the damage that came through. Oh my god, Ravana. Oh my god, Mercury. Boom, boom, boom. Mass dead. That's a triple ultimate. Oh, Fisher dead. Triple kill, dude. That's sick. I'm just clipping, getting some for the highlight. What's up, baby Chris? Blonde monster. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. What's up, Binny Beast? Uh, Mercury Ultimate and her pillar and uh, but I can show you. Wait, what is going on now? Oh my god. Uh, I can check here in a second. Give a sec. This isn't that bad of a situation for Al Cold, though. No, I have uh, some fights like this through the jungle. Al Cold scale pretty well into the late game too. I have yeah, three clips. Uh, oh no. Unit, I just put this clip in as a Mercury now. I'm thinking maybe we just in really hard. So I have three clips. And we just make our mana. Our mana trolling, yeah. Then they can start playing like this, and we sweep them back to back. That might be the play. Well, let's see if Al Cold can try and sweep it, get the two in a row to advance to tomorrow here. You're still believing it's Armada, and I can understand why. Snoopy takes the tier one tower in response from Just Line taking that early. And look at that level lead between the two. Level 13 for Frey, level 10 for the Chrono. Sonic Boom, no! For fun, for fun, for fun. Fisher not happy with it. You oh, see no. his face, he's clearly Damn. happy with it. And now Solo or Troll will take him down. Solo or Troll, Solo Troll is going to be popping here. Fire. Yes, that was a 2 for one with a comedic error. Coming into play there. Rewind used by just line. Snoopy used the old beach used by Snoopy. That's the line that is not enough to stop the Snoopster in his tracks. The tower, though, may cause him a death. The Aegis will not keep him alive. That was a season two Aegis because it would have lasted a little bit longer. It would have, but it did not in this instance. A bit of a rough one there for Snoopy. He's gonna have one on one if you want to fold him again. Now tracking on the whole team of Armada, four members strong around their own speed. What is out cold gaming just on the defense here? Nice stando. These trades because this is only 14 minutes. The Ravana can smack them, just go in, man. It is experience farmed off the back of it, but it's just a kill. No one really loses out too much. No, and look, that's uh, that's the way of the road sometimes, I suppose. So, it's very funny. Ravana and Isha have the same bills. This is a much better showing from them, though. I mean, they're only down 3k. And that's considerably better than where they were at this point in, in game one. Now, it's all gone calm for a second as nobody's on the other side of the map of their enemy. That's the main thing to look at here. Well, Fury's coming up relatively soon. And that will be this time around an Oni Fury. So that will make a bit of an impact on the map in terms of push power. <coughs> Oni Fury, one of the newest Furies, joining the Smite world in Conquest these days. Smite world. Interesting. Well, hold up, four fish. Okay, mid gonna get 
pressure by Fisher, has to use the beats to get away and... Dude, this game is crazy at, at this point, actually. I crit to you for solo troll. You thought so. Mr. Sachs dead. Mr. Sachs can't use an ability because a silence from Gino really shuts that down pretty nicely. Silences are OP, man. You can't cast anything. I'd say you, you're right. Yes, that is what a silence <laughs> does. I was about to say, I think it's not me when I'm wrong. Knock up. Silence. You can see that no Libras on the other team. Yeah, I mean, Ganesh ultimate can be good for sure. Yeah, I, I just think Ganesh all is not that strong. Yeah, but he can work for sure. Okay, Fisher can ultimate here if you want. Honestly, they can spit push so fucking hard this game. What's the top under? Just watching some MSI. Actually, uh. Okay, this needs a good team come. Yeah, I need some ultimates around it. Some strong, uni some strong, strong units around it. This fight in 9 is just such a big stunt kind of. Oh, Outcall got it. I guess it's worth him to get a goal for It was only right. Oh, he's dead. Hmm. Still a tank after all underneath the tier 2 tower. Maybe a lot of work for Mass to help bring down. Meanwhile, Fatality Fire having a hard time with things on the right hand side. Just three members of Armada bring down that tier 2. Your cat gonna dash forward, looking for Fatality Fire. Body blocks are solid. You've been, we've been knowing Meerkat's getting that kill. Five and four for him. He's back on the positive side. Just a tier 2 tower remain on the left, which Mass is going to begin with. Three members still from Armada. Going to push onto the Phoenix on the right. Pure frenzies popped, I should say. Sonic Boom used, but Meerkat preemptively feeds that nicely. Then gets the kill at the tail end. Sash from Solo or Troll sets up Snoopy for another kill on Just Lion. And the right hand Phoenix will fall down soon. The question is, how many times does the Titan reset this game? Yeah, I, we may have set a record last game with Titan reset. I don't know that Armada's gonna be able to best that. Sinordis. That's GG. Oh, he's jigging him though. Oh, unlucky. GG. They don't end? Frustration signs definitely showing from Snoopy's face there as he has another kill taken away from him. Unlucky for him. Nothing you could have done there. Mass is gonna clean up this, this left side tier two. What's with the NASA? Hmm. Is, he, is he trained to be an astronaut? Is that what's happening? Uh, is that why he always plays gods that goes in the sky? No, I'm, there's there's a joke here, and I'm just not seeing it to be honest with you. Get, I'll come, just come back. Here. Okay, you gotta find it soon because this game's gonna be over relatively oh, soon. Yeah. As the oh yeah, oh boy, I better kick it into overdrive. Listen, here. I was waiting to make a comment about this NASA hat, and there's no window. I've not had one. The game's been so fast-paced in terms of kills and so one-sided. I'm not gonna get much of a window to talk about it. So yeah. it has to be mentioned now. Um, something, something into space. Illuminati world is round. At least someone who, something about space station maybe, make a meme joke about them not making it, so Mass have to represent them. 
Can I just end at this point, dude? Talking about bouncing off the board, out cold and just bouncing the faces off the weapons that Armada are unleashing at them at the moment. The tier two tower in the mid lane does go down. The firemings are pouring down right now as Solo Chop continues to pressure. And out cold gaming believe and I'm starting to accept the fact Mr. Sack is going to get sacked after this game. <laughs> going the way they plan, like <laughs> what does sack mean? Time, but Mass will clean up the pieces with the dash. More so than not, it was Gina with the setup and assist again. Titan is at half health as Jet Fisher will get a sonic boom off and Solo Watch Out will reward him with her wind fire wheels. Two out! GG, boys and girls. GG. This is what we expected from this team. I think that we are all expecting Armada to be a favorite. The first thing Mijeka does is just stand up and he has his headset on and he's just standing up. not be as guaranteed as we thought. I'm really excited to see that matchup tomorrow. Out cold gaming. I mean, honestly, it's not the voice to lose. Um, because if they're not even close to beating this team, let's say they beat them, but there's like really close games, like going up against the SPL teams anyways, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, dude, there's not much to be done anyways, but at least they got the shot, right? Did that make sense? You know, not having your full roster is always a feels bad. I know the same could be said for Flashpoint in the earlier set, but those are kind of the bumps and bruises you got to take along the way. And, and, and He's doing the bro fist, dude. Even if they had Kinder Warrior, I, I don't think they're beating Armada. And with that, Alcohol Gaming will slip away this time round. We'll see what they can do in the second phase and on their run towards the world. Now, how that works out for them. But it's Armada that are going to be the victors here today. They advance with that 2 0 victory. We'll throw it to the death. Oh, well. Armada. Yeah, they're, they're going to be the winners. Did you watch that? Armada. This was a no bow tie. He's got the, the suit on. What is it called? It's not the suit. What the fuck is this one called? A tie. Fucking A, man. I just forgot it. Is it not a game today? There's two games, dude. Oh, well. I'm going to make uh, game two ready. We're going to have the thumbnail ready. 